morning students today i am going to teach you about roman numerals you know roman numerals are there with only seven symbols but before we start this chapter do you know who are romans and when and how roman numerals got introduced to the world you know children romans are the people who live in rome capital of italy is rome roman numerals originated in ancient rome the first usage of the symbols began showing up between 900 and 800 bc bc means before the birth of christ you know children how old is roman numerals it is almost 2920 years old how did i calculate it we are in 2020 year plus 900 that was before christ so total years if you add 2020 and 900 so it comes out to be 2920 years oh my god roman numerals are really ancient old Now let me tell you some interesting facts about Roman numerals. The Roman numerals developed out of a need for a common method of counting essential to communications and trade. Communications means how to talk to each other and trade means business. So these numbers came into existence for communication and trade. but after the fall or decline of roman empire roman numerals was replaced by hindu arabic numerals so once the roman empire was fallen so hindu arabic numerals came in the human hindu arabic numerals are the numbers which we are studying recently and around 14th century that is sometime near 1500 years that means almost 600 years back this hindu arabic numerals came into existed isn't that interesting now you all must be wondering that why we are studying roman numerals and what is the need to study roman numerals so let me tell you that today also roman numerals are used at many places for example in clocks and for naming kings and queens for example king george 6 we don't write in hindu arabic numeral we write in roman numeral roman numerals are also used in naming of pope pope is the head of a catholic church pope francis 1 meets pope benedict 16 now 1 and 16 are written in roman numerals even the movies are numbered in roman numerals movies mention the year of making in roman numerals like star wars 789 789 are written in roman numerals after gathering all the important information about roman numerals let's come to the rules to write roman numerals Romans used only seven basic symbols. They are I, V, X, L, C, D, and M. Just like rainbow has seven colors, their respective values are I is for one, V is for five, X is for ten, L is for fifty, C is for hundred. D is for five hundred and M is for thousand. Now, students, you will be able to learn in this chapter Roman numerals from one to fifty. You will learn only first four symbols, that is I, V, X, and L. You will be learning rules to use Roman numerals, and finally, you will learn. how to write hindu arabic in roman numerals and vice versa vice versa means from roman numerals to hindu arabic and this will be taught step wise followed by again a subject specific activity rule 1 i and x can be
repeated at the most three times. It means for adding it can be used but not more than thrice or three times. V is never repeated. It is only written once. For example, to write three, we can repeat I thrice. I, I, I is equal to three. And for writing four, we cannot write I, 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 I because I can be only used three times. Now let's check rule number one. Four can be written as one plus one plus one plus one. That means it is equal to four or in Roman numerals it is I, 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 I. Can it be written like this? No. Why? Because I cannot be repeated more than three times. Now let's check this one. To write 10 in Roman numeral, we can use 2 V as 5 plus 5 is equal to 10. Is it correct? No. Why? Because we cannot repeat V. Therefore, for 10, we use a separate symbol X. Some more examples like 2 can be written as I, I. 20 can be written as X, X. 30 can be written as X, X, X. Rule 2. If a smaller number is written to the right of a larger one, then the smaller symbol is added to the larger symbol. For example, if we have to write 6, then 6 is equal to 5 plus 1 is equal to V I. I is smaller symbol, hence it is written to the right of the bigger symbol V. Let's take another example, 12. 12 can be written as 10 plus 1 plus 1, which is equal to X I I. I is smaller symbol, hence it is written to the right of a bigger symbol X. Let's see whether you have understood second rule. How to write 7 in Roman numerals? We can write 5 plus 2 or 5 plus I 1 plus 1. Now should we write as shown in the first figure? No. Why? Because whenever a smaller symbol has to be added to a bigger symbol, it should be written on the right side. Therefore, the second figure is correct. Let's take some more examples. First one is 15. 15 can be written as 10 plus 5. Now 5 is a smaller number. Its corresponding Roman numeral is V. Therefore, V is written to the right of X. Let's take another number, 16. 16 is written as 10 plus 5 plus 1. Now, can you see that V and I are written to the right of X. And here, I is written on right of V. So, all these numbers which are smaller, they keep adding on to the right side. Let's take another example, 17. 17 can be written as 10 plus 5 plus 1 plus 1. So can you see it is written as X, V, I, I. V is smaller than 10 or X. Hence it is written on the right side and I are smaller than V. Hence they are written on the right side of V. Rule 3. Till now you have studied that I was written on the right side of a symbol and over there it was added. But now if I is written to the left of V or X, then it is subtracted. 
For first, in the first example, just see I, V. That means 5 minus 1 because I is on the left of V, which is equal to 4. Similarly, next one, I, X, that is 10 minus 1 is equal to 9. So, symbol of 9 is I, X. Now, remember, V is never written to the left of X. And I is written only once to the left of V and X. Let's revise the third rule. Now let us write 9 in Roman numeral. 9 can be written as 5 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1. But we have already learned before that I cannot be used more than 3 times. So, how do I write 9? It can also be written as 10 minus 1 is equal to 9. Isn't it? Is the first symbol correct? No. Why? Because when we subtract a smaller symbol from a bigger symbol, it has to be written on the left side of the bigger symbol. Now children, let us recapitulate whatever we have studied. First point, I and X can be written thrice on the right side of a bigger symbol. For addition, I and X can be written once on the left side of a bigger symbol for subtraction. V is never repeated. Children, in my next two slides, you will see all the Roman numerals from 1 to 50, which we are going to learn in this chapter. You don't have to learn them by heart. I will teach you how to make these Roman numerals. For that, you have to learn all the rules as well as all the seven symbols. So if you promise me to learn both the things, then you will learn converting of Roman numerals into Hindu Arabic and Hindu Arabic into Roman numerals will be fun. Children, in my next session, I will be teaching you how to write Roman numerals into Hindu Arabic and Hindu Arabic into Roman numerals stepwise. So wait for my next session. Thank you.